start our new presentation about Hairspray. Hairspray is an upbeat musical which we made into Broadway. The film shows Tracy, a fun, bubbly girl who becomes a dancer on the local TV show, which is popular and everyone wants to be on it. She fights problems such as racism, bullying and low self-esteem. Both genres of the film would be comedy, musical and romance. The film covers some tough issues of what's happening around the time the film was based in, which is in the 60s. This is Hairspray, the original version, which was made in 1988. The film was released on the 26th of February 1988 in 17 North American theatres. 15 days later it went on to showing in 227 theatres where it made 9,666.672 from two days of just showing it. Hairspray was awarded for six Independent Spirit Awards. It won Grand Jury Prize at the Sunbill Film Festival. The film was by New Line Cinema. This is Hairspray Remake, which was made in 2007. Hairspray was opened in 3,121 theatres in North America on the 20th of July 2007. The budget was 75 million and the markup was 170.6% with a gross margin of 62.97%. It made a record having the biggest sales open opening weekend for a musical. The remake had such good reviews it became one of 2007's best films. Hairspray won many awards and Nikki, who played Tracy, won Best Young Actress. Hairspray was such, such a success in the remake that it was announced that there was going to be Hairspray 2 which was due to be released in July 2010. However, in June 2010, it was announced for the director that it was no longer in development because he didn't want to make another sequel to this. The original film made in 1988 was filmed in an actual school called Perry Hall High School with using their locations such as the library, a classroom, which was for English, and the head teacher's office. The rest of the scene was filmed in Dorothy Park, which was in Pennsylvania. The original film used makeup and costumes. The remake, which was made in 2007, the script was mainly based in stage rather than the 1988 version. However, using the same locations at the school, such as the library, houses, and classrooms. The script is mainly based for a stage because Hairspray is now a ma major musical, which is in theatres international. To make these changes doable, they had to drop a few characters to make sure that they can keep the settings and to have enough time. They dropped from the 1988 version of the role of Mrs. Spritzler Fields and Velma's husband, Franklin, and Corny's assistant, Tammy. They also changed that the amusement park from the story, making Velma in charge of the station, the Corny Collins show, in the remake of 2007. Hairspray original in 1988 film had been filmed in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, where the film was set. However, the 2007 version was shot in Trinitio because the city was had more equipment of sounds, which was needed for the musical. In the 2007 remake, there is more of a bird's eye shot than the original because they wanted to make you feel like you was there and you could see what how what they were seeing and feel how they felt. The original was released on the 26th of February 1988 in North America theatres. It was not out on video yet. However, Hairspray was released from VHS and Laserdisc in 1989, a year later, by a company called RCA, Pictures Home Videos. New Line Who It Is Made By reissued the film on video in 1996. However, as technology moved on, the original was released on DVD by New Line in 2003. This meant it was available to buy on video in 1988 in the UK. The remake was released on the July the 20th in 2007, which it went to 3,121 theatres in North America. It was released on DVD and Blu-ray in Region 1, and it was released in the UK on 
the 20th of November in 2007. So as like technology went on, you can get like the original and the remake on DVD now. The original film was released in 1988, and in the 1980s, the trends were the films of horror, action, and family films and science fiction. In 1980s, this is where Star Wars was released, making it become the second and third top engrossing film of the decade. In 1980s, the musical theatre had a few well-known musicals, such as Miss Miserables in 1985 and Phantom of the Opera in 1986. When Hairspray was released in 1988, it was a different kind of musical film, as it has different genres in, such as comedy, family film and romance. The film also covered certain issues that were happening at the time where it was set. In 2007, the trends were Disney, Warner Brothers and DreamWorks films. These films made were in the top grossing films, such as Pirates in the Caribbean. These film genres were family, fun and animation films. This means when the re remake of Hairspray came out, it was under musical, but it was still a family film. It fitted in well with the trends at the time the remake came out in 2007. Trends in film genres. The remake of Hairspray in 2007 fitted in with the trends more rather than the 1988 because when the 2007 remake came out, it fitted in with the trends of having a family film. The remake is more of a colour, colourful, upbeat musical rather than the original. The remake has more of a well-known stars in, which are from children's programmes that families would watch, which fits into the family trends more. These stars are Amanda Bynes, who was in Nickelodeon's The Amanda Show, which was aired from 1999 to 2002. She had been in children's films since. Another star from the film is Zac Efron, who is well known for his role of Trey Bolton in High School Musical 1 to 3 and also starred in different shows on Disney Channel. This is the cast of Hairspray in 1988 and 2007. I think that the 2007 cast, they got into the characters more and they, they fitted in with the characters more than what the 1988 version did. And in 2007, the, the actors are more known than what the 1988 were because we, they've been in more films rather than the experience of the 1988 ones. Star comparison. Tracy Turnbaugh is a fun, loving teenager who lives in Baltimore, Maryland. She had offered a spot on the Corny Collin show where she learned some lessons about interrogation and what's right and what's not. Ricky Lake played the main role of Tracy in Hairspray Original in 1988. However, she appeared in the remake of Hairspray in 2007, where she played the talent agent. Not a lot of people knew this. Ricky was born on the 21st September 1968. She is an American actress, producer and television host. Ricky starred, started her acting career in 1987 in a television programme called Kate and Ally where she starred in one episode. However, when she got the main role of Hairspray a year later, this really set off her career. Since Hairspray, she has been successful and starred in 19 films and has been in 21 different television programmes. Nikki Bonsmith played the role of Tracy in Hairspray's remake in 2007. Nikki was born on the 9th of November 1988 when the original was actually released. Nikki is an American actress, singer and dancer. She is most known for her role in Hairspray, as this was her first acting role. Since Hairspray, she has been in seven films, of one being filmed this year in 2013 called Geography Club. She has also appeared in six different television roles. Edda Turnblatt, who was Tracy's mum and agent, she runs a laundry business out of her own home. She doesn't go outside much due to being embarrassed about her size until Tracy shows her the world she's missing out on. Harris played the role of Edna, who played Tracy's mum. Harris was born on the 19th of October 1945. Unfortunately, Harris died on the 7th of March 1988, which was three weeks after Hairspray was released nationwide. He died by an enlarged heart. Harris started his acting career in 1966 in Roman Candles. 
He was in 11 films before he died. Harris was an Amer American actor, singer and drag queen. However, John Travolta played the role of the mum in Hairspray and the Roommate. John was born on the 18th of February 1954. John is an American actor, dancer and singer. He is well known for his role of Danny Zuko in Grace in 1978. However, he had his first television role in Emergency in 1972. However, most of his films were released in the 1970s with him being in three major films. He was one of the youngest performers ever nominated for the Best Actor Oscar. John played Ed Edna for Hairspray Remake and this was the first musical done since Grace. The character Link is a very attractive male who is the lead male dancer and singer on the Corny Collins show. He is very popular and loved by the female audience. He is Amber's boyfriend but Link soon meets Tracy and everything changes. Michael plays Link in the original Hairspray. Michael is an American actor, however he has appeared in off-Broadway shows and has even appeared in Japanese adverts. He was born on the 22nd of January 1961, however he has only appeared in one film, which was his first film in 1987, Seniors Week. He is only most recognised for his role as Link in Hairspray though. He has not done anything else since Hairspray. In the remake of Hairspray, Zac Efron plays Ling. Zac is an American actor and singer and dancer who was born on the 18th of October in, 18, in 1987. He started off his career and is most known for playing his role as Troy Bolton in Disney's channel's High School Musical, which they had three films of. He became the team idol after this. However, he appeared in six films before High School Musical. After High School Musical, he appeared in Hairspray, and after Hairspray, he had been in nine films since. Zach appeared in 14 television roles. Zach has won awards and nominations for his acting skills. In 1980s, drugs were a major issue at this time, along with AIDS and viruses. This was, a, this was the problems when Hairspray, the original, was released. However, Hairspray is set for the time period of 1962, and 1962, the problems of racism. In Hairspray, the film covers each issues such as racism, bullying and having low self-esteem. It also covers that you should stand up for yourself and believe in what's right. It also shows that you should fight for what you believe in. Hairspray covers low self-esteem and fight for what you believe in. As, for example, when Tracy is told by Amber that, it's too, that she is too overweight and not good enough to be in the Tony Collins show. However, she ignores this and fights for what she wants and soon impresses everyone and lands a spot there. They also cover racism, which is where black and white people were divided and you cannot be friends or speak to them, which is one of the major issues in the 60s. She stands up for it and she believes that everyone's equal and she gets in the protests and becomes best friends of people of the other race. She also makes sure all people on the show are together. Tracy's best friend Penny falls for seaweed, who is coloured. This wouldn't have normally ha happened at this time and the film shows that we are all equal and people should not be treated differently. Hairspray also covers bullying where Amber is nasty to Tracy throughout the show and it shows that if you stand up for yourself you can stop bullying. Hairspray made some powerful points when it was released which shocked the audience but also made them realise what is right and wrong. Hairspray covered some difficult issues which could have turned out bad but they didn't cover this in a suitable and caring way. Hairspray covered the issues strongly with respect and this is what I personally believe made the film. The first change they made was when they wanted the, a remake to the, like, be in a stage in a small location, so I had to drop some from the original, which of the characters, Miss Spirit Fields and Corny's assistant, Tammy. This was because they did not have major parts of the film, so without changing the storyline too much, it was easier to remove these. The next change they made were removing the amusement park where Velma was in charge of. Instead, they made Velma in charge of the, the show, the Corny Collins show, showing that her daughter Amber thought she would be in charge too and take over, which suited in well for high maintenance and big ego character. Hairspray removed the song Mama, I'm a Big Girl Now as it was a stage musical, and the camera technique for this would have had to split in three ways to show the different scenes. This is not something that the remake wanted to do, however it is easier to use in the credits and they use it in the instrumental number on the show. 
they changed just on It Takes Two, which is Link's solo song, and they made this come in an earlier scene that was in the original. When Tracy was protesting for the rights of racism, in the original version, Tracy was arrested and sent to prison. In the remake, she was not. Both Hairspray original and remake of Hairspray was by New Line Cinema. New Line Cinema was founded in 1967 by Robert Shea and Michael Lynn. These products is motion pictures. Hairspray overview. In my own opinion, I feel that the remake of Hairspray in 2007 is a much better version. I believe that it keeps the storyline from the original, but as a new modern equipment and dress up clothes and makeup, but to make the audience believe it's in the 1960s. However, the original can always be a better choice for some viewers, as the remake did not cut out the characters and change location. This, is, this could have not made the remake any good and could have lost fans from this. However, if you, if you have only watched the remake, then you would not know, and you would feel that the location they have chosen is suitable for the film. The original film covers the social issues, which was only 10 years before it actually happened. So I feel like this would have made more of an effect to the audience back then because they would have been through the issues at the time. Whereas in the remake, the audience may not have been alive to have a full understanding of how strong the problems were. However, it is a good educational film to make people understand the history of this. So either way, it was good. The remake of the film has more well-known characters that I would know from today. I also feel like because I've grown up watching Amanda Bynes and Zac Efron and Disney Channel and Nickelodeon, I can relate to the characters more and have more of an interest. I've also enjoyed the humour side of the film where they added in John Travolta to play a female, as in all of his acting career he has not done this before. This made the film have more of a comedy side without actually making the script funny. As an overall, I personally think that 2007 is more enjoyable to watch because they have made it modern to make it more believable. It is set in a different time period. I also enjoyed it more because I felt that the actors and characters suited each other more better than the original. I feel that the actors and actresses have really grown and understood their role to make a better performance. However, the original was an excellent film to watch and it should be watched as it is what made the remake of Hairspray good. And I think that different generations will enjoy the original or remake. So this is why I made the original have three stars, because it's still a good film and it's what made the remake today. And I gave the remake five stars because I really enjoyed it.